Okay, that was the change we needed to make. Now we're getting it. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Too much left foot break. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Something totally different. As you can see, we have a controller out because we don't have my sim rig set up. But we're here on Clutch Kickers in one of my street cars. We're going to try controller drifting. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. It's around the description box below. Let's get to it. So this is going to be super weird for me. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's so slow. I'm not sure how this is going to work. We're going to go full send. Got a feather a little bit. Oh boy. Yep, this is not easy. My brain is kind of hurting right now. <laughs> so I'm totally different. Trying to... Drift on a controller is really not easy because I can't get a good consistent like steering. Oh, this is I give mad credit to those who drift on controller because this is not easy. Oh, we kind of got it. Got a little bit. Nope. Massive oversteer though. Uh, no. Drifting on a controller. This is by far probably the hardest thing I've tried in a very long time because we do not have any type of assist I don't want to keep hitting that controller we don't have any assists so no steering assist nothing so those people that I see drifting on controller mad credit to you oh nope I thought I thought we kind of oh I gotta that's why I keep doing that this is not easy at all. And I don't know if it's just... Let me turn my trigger stop on and go less throttle. Nope, not enough throttle. It's because the steering is not fast enough. Now, I don't know if that's just a setting I can change. Or if it's just something I'd have to get used to. It seems to be pretty quick, but I don't think it's fast enough. Oh, there's a lot of modulation of throttle. Normally, I could smash clutch kickers here without an issue, but uh, we're having a bit of an issue right now. We gotta get a full drift. Come on, let's go. Got it? Nope. I almost need to get the car settled into uh, lock and just throttle it. I feel like I'm just a beginner trying to learn how to drift. I mean, 360 for style really easily. Nope. This is very challenging. Kind of, kind of, maybe. Nope. See, the problem is, I think when I turn, it goes all the way to lock, no matter how little I turn. You see that? Like, there's, there's very little room for movement, and that's just, that's aggressively hard. Apparently, I need to be gentler on the steering. Maybe we need to turn some sort of steering assist on. I don't know, let's see if we can find some sort of steering assist real quick. And I'm not sure if there's any settings we can adjust. Combination with keyboard. Uh, system, no. It would probably be under... It would have to be under controls. At, yeah, so steering... That's, oh, steering... Speed sensitivity. Steering sensitivity. Steering gamma. Let's try to put it at 100. Let's see what steering gamma at 100 does. So we're going to see what steering gamma at 100 does here. Let's see if maybe that'll make a little bit of a difference. 
We could be using left foot brake too. Let's adjust the left foot brake down. I don't know if that made any difference, but... We're gonna find out. Control of drifting. Not something I normally do. I'm gonna try to use my left foot brake a lot. Oh. Oh, there's a speed sensitivity thing. Oh, there's there's that speed sensitivity. So I ask if you guys are drifting on a controller, give me some of your settings. Actually, this feels a lot better already. Oh, no. As I say that, we go full. Okay, that was the change we needed to make. Now we're getting it. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Too much left foot brake. We almost had it. This is challenging. I don't think I've ever... I'm also getting some stick drift. Let's try my roof cam. Well, I mean, if we go 360, that's not gonna help us. Oh, now we're getting it. Uh, every time I say something, we have we we end up screwing up. The trials and tribulations of learning to drift on a controller. And this is, I know, exactly what people that when they first start on a wheel, how they feel on a wheel, too. Because that's how I felt when I first started drifting on a wheel. Apparently, left for braking is now what I need to do. Oh, man, I wish... It... Man, those hands move so quick. All right, we're going to go back out to this view. And we're going to see if we can get this to work. There we go. It's all about that throttle modulation, which I apparently do not have great throttle modulations with my finger as much as I do my foot. So this is extremely challenging. Handbrake is not your friend. You do not want to use handbrake at all. Because when you use handbrake, you kind of, uh... And I'm also wondering if it's just straight... It almost seems like just full throttle instantly. I wonder if there's a adjustment we can do on our throttle. Not so much. Alright, well, we have to try it. We're going to try it. We're going to bring out the pro car and see how bad we can do with the pro car to finish this episode. If you guys like this, if you guys want to keep seeing more funny stuff like this, let me know down in the comment section down below. So, we will be having the setup and everything set up fully here very shortly. Just wanted to get out here, try something different. Oh man, this car is loud. I forgot. Do I need to uh, pop that down a little bit? All right. Yep. Oh, this is not going to work. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is going to be death of me. No way. There's no way you could drift this car out of controller. Well, I mean, I can't. I'm sure there's some people that could. Oh, I think we've determined this car, not the greatest out of controller. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Santa Corsa. Controller drifting, trying it. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll find the description box below. As always, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Neil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.